Awesome. Hi, welcome Sivamani. Welcome to the interview. Thank you. Thanks for calling me. No, you're most welcome. Thank you for your time because I know you're taking about 10 minutes out of your day for us. So first of all, for those who are watching this uh, interview, guys, we were here to celebrate Sivamani's success because she recently secured a position as a junior data analyst intern. Am I right, Sivamani? That's the job? Yes. Yeah? Right. Awesome. So we're here to celebrate that with her, guys, and find out a little bit about her journey. And she's from Singapore, based in Singapore. So she's one of our Singapore participants who did us proud. Um, also part of TIPP program initiative. She persevered. She gave it all her time and she really, really, really put in all the time and effort into what uh, the program was all about. So I'm going to just start asking her some questions. So Sivamani, let's start off with, maybe you could share with the people a little bit about your background, your experience, your um, education before this, before prior to doing this program. Yeah. Okay, uh, I am an engineering student in computer science, but that was way long back. And my work experience has got nothing to do with anything in technical line. So, uh, and it was a long gap after my uh, role as a business operations person also. It was, uh, it was about six or seven years gap. But uh, this time, I really wanted to get into the technical field because during this COVID time, there were a lot of programs online, which is a very good advantage for most of us to make use of to learn and upskill and uh, join the workforce. To the, to, the, to the arena that you would like to be that you were never given a chance before. So when I was looking for, I did come across a few and Industry Connect really appealed to me because of, not only because of the reviews, but because of the program itself, that they had a proper structure and a clear uh, view of uh, how to go about with it. And uh, because after this long gap that I'm joining, even to take up anything to study, I was really, first of all, very scared not confident enough and I uh, don't know if this is really my arena because I'm just going to give it a try. Yeah. So all that and having spoken with you and having that first interview scheduled like uh, to choose the among the three Correct. arenas that all really gave me a better picture to go ahead with this program uh, and uh, yeah when I first stepped into it it was a bit difficult during the first few sessions of the program itself the uh, meetings and uh, learning process mm -hmm. but then slowly when I saw people and started to communicate with them take up small small uh, uh, things like homeworks and all that they used to get <laughs> <laughs> I never even knew that I could even try those and get it done and that gave me a little bit burst of confidence and that's how it went about and uh, yeah that was the initial stage Awesome, awesome. Thank you. I remember, I remember when we had a chat at the very beginning, I knew you told me, Rishma, you know, I'm talking to you, yes, but I'm really scared. It's been a long gap. I, I'm very confused. I remember so clearly because I think we had a good, um, a good conversation quite a number of times before you really made the decision to join. It wasn't like a snap. You really thought through. That's one thing I remember about you that, you know, you, you made sure you made the right decision. You did right. not join out of um, impulse. You re no, no. you really thought about it and asked yourself, you know, is this the right one? Would I be able to cope? Twice or thrice I called you, I think, right? <laughs> yes. We had quite a number of conversations just to make sure that you are ready. And I was happy to do that because I like the fact that you were really thinking through and you weren't, you weren't just uh, waiting to rush, you know? That, that was a good good trait that you had. So in terms of um, finding out about Industry Connect, how did you find out about us again, Subhamani? Do you remember how you found out about Industry Connect? Oh, I think it was in one of my Facebook news feed, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, ah, that, okay. that was the initial, yeah. That was then how you I went found about out. searching. <laughs> and you went about searching. Yeah, I remember. That's how we got in touch, right? So, okay. We kind of clear that you made a, a decision to take up this program because you found that the structure was clear. You came to the advice and interview session. Uh, you got advice from our IT experts before deciding yeah, and true. all that. So, how did you find learning remotely? Because a lot of people are a little like, oh, learning without a physical class it can be a little new for them, you know, or they're scared. Um, especially when they've uh, had a gap for a long time, not studied in such a long time. You know, they're like, oh my goodness, I need a teacher in front of me. How am I going to do this remotely? So how did you find the six weeks um, remotely learning? How did how was that experience for you? Okay, I would say 
there is no much difference in learning online or in face-to-face uh, -face because the tutors are available not only in your session, they are available in many other areas. Like you have your meetings, you yeah. have your TV sessions, you have your uh, tech chit chat, QHub, which is the which is one of the most I use, I think, because I have no idea about even the basic, like even linking. I'm not even able to see these things. How do I find it? People give me answers, you know, that gave me confidence that I'm not the only one who's having this problem. That's wonderful. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, if it's in a classroom arena, I don't think you will have all these facilities, which is a very, yeah. very good advantage, I would say, online. And awesome. uh, it really helped me in a lot of ways. Not it gave me more content because sometimes when you're straight facing people, right? Yeah, you may hesitate to ask straightforward, but this is typing, and you get answers, man. Then that's that's even more. <laughs> it's solving the problem. Then that's the best thing. That's that's so good to know that you use the question how so many I wouldn't have known if I didn't meet you now because um in case those who are watching guys if you're wondering what is Sivamani talking about the few hub question hub we call it now when you join us during the program you'll be given your own login details to our portal it's called dot io and there's a place called question hub where people who've been in the program have already asked past questions and uh, tech experts or your seniors will be answering you all the time. So that's what Sivamani is referring to. She has asked questions there and got her replies there. Uh, so Question Hub is also one of the ways for you to seek help and also select channel with your tutor. So that's what she's talking about. And I'm so happy that she's really used it because we hardly, I mean, we do hear our participants using it, but to hear someone who's an advocate of the Question Hub, it's so good to hear because she's like, I use the Question Hub. <laughs> <laughs> Not only does it help you answer the, get the answers, it also gives you points, man. Yeah, and that gets you climb the ladder of the IC, you know, and then you get so better advantage. And, yeah, they have this very nice way of uh, 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 opening up different different windows for you to go and learn according yeah. to the level that you achieve. That is something very good also because it helps you not give up. Because sometimes when you're not able to solve, when you're not able mm -hmm. to finish up, you may slack. But then you know that this helps you to get more uh, better window for learning stuff and access to more stuff then you would persevere and ask people listen to check 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 chit chat some of the timings of the meetings uh were a bit different for me but mm -hmm. i was having this advantage of the recordings yeah, yeah. that i really made use of listen <laughs> many more times than the actual <laughs> so that, i love your energy you are such a ball of energy i'm telling you you are so positive which is what i love about you and um I, I okay so in terms of how you've made use just to ask you how was the transition from the six weeks program to the internship how was the transition for you how did you find it okay once we finished the course itself like yeah. learning what to be uh what we are supposed to be equipped with i would say that i was still not very confident to then uh, there was this briefing about uh taking up the sprints that goes over three periods and we also have a mentor assigned to us, like uh, we can check with them regarding yeah. the pro, not only with the progress, but also like how to go about with it uh, or where to look out for information. They don't really give you solutions, I would say. <laughs> yes. But they, they make you persevere. That is the attitude. That is, that is the best thing, I would say, because that is what they want us to be when we are actually in the field, you know. So uh, for people like me who have not been to the technical uh, field, Right. And this is the first transition. This made me uh, get a clearer picture of what to expect and how to go about with it, like the sprints and the scrum meetings. The scrum meetings and all, I've only heard, like sometimes when I hear. And when we have to really be part of it and uh, give updates and all, that was really good. Like it gave us better uh, picture of uh, how we need to be when we really enter into the workforce or enter into the Awesome. That's I think that's a very good point that you brought up, Simone. So, guys, what Simone is talking about is during the internship, we run uh, meetings and additional workshops for you all so that uh, you guys are ready for the workforce, right? So, we have uh, technical-related meetings and we have soft skills-related meetings. What Simone is talking about is our Scrum meetings. So, our Scrum meetings are there for you guys to keep update, uh, updated with what's happening in the IT industry, the project uh, development, the plans and stuff like that so that 
when you get an IT job outside, you are not shocked by a culture of like planning and project keeping up because you know what you get, what you get uh, or what is expected out of you. So that's what Sylvani is talking about. So she's really attended everything and I'm so proud of her because um, I want to let you know, Sylvani, I'm really proud of you because the way you are, you have positioned yourself and you've made use of every resource that was available to you. That's just fantastic because you need a certain type of attitude for that. You need a certain type of foresight and uh, vision for that, that I'm going to make use of all these and make sure I absorb the best, you know, the value of the entire program. So I must say you've used uh, as much as possible and that's what got you your results today. So what would be, what would you say were the highlights of the program for you? What are the best highlights for you? It's not just about the, the training and the internship. It's also about how to get connected with the, opportunities that is available in your areas like the employability session and yes. also keeping us motivated like using these tech skills not only the tech skills the life skills that you have conducted the english at work i got all these are like really the light-hearted part of it but also yeah. keeps us motivated and keeps us keep looking at the similar like-minded people like us who are in the same uh, level as us and how they are also persevering and not giving up that attitude you know that that uh, every day when we get up in the morning because it's online yeah. it's connected but then when we attend these meetings this connection is established and that that get, gets us to work on it and achieve you know that kind of a thing oh that's so sweet thank you so much uh, so many like the life skill sessions and employability and communication it's all out there for to help you guys and we also learn though i conduct life skills as well I, we also learn from our participants or attend. And for yourself, like I'm learning a little bit from you now as I conduct this and I hear the way, you know, for a person who had a long gap and seems so positive about changing their career from non-IT to IT, um, it's for me, I'm learning something about that attitude that you have. You know, it makes me want to persevere. If anything I want to do, I'll always remember you. If somebody can do it, why can't I? Because you have that kind of aura about you. And I'm, I'm, I mean this in the bottom of my heart. So in terms of the Slack community, the tutors and all that, so many, how did you find that community and the Slack and your tutors? How did you find that whole part of the program? Oh, when I have to say about these uh, technical skills that people help with, they are not just there to teach. They are in the industry. They are working. They really know what is happening out there. So when you have a problem, they not only give you a solution, they also tell you that this is just a small picture or this, the big, big picture is this. They give yeah. you a actual scenario, the actual thing that's happening. You know, it's not to just guide you with that question only. So they are the, really the those people in the industry. They are still there and they know what is actually happening and uh, how to help you with. So yeah, that that's one best one. That is true. It's it's a community that we want to build. And uh, the more you guys feel welcome to, to use the community, you're always welcome to the community, by the way. You're alumni. You're Industry Connect MVP Studio alumni. And I still now. connect. Yeah. Of course, course you like can still, still connect. connect. <laughs> yeah, I still want to learn more. <laughs> oh, fantastic. We love people who want to learn more. We will welcome you anytime. <laughs> <laughs> all the time you're definitely welcome so many because um people like you will continue inspiring the rest you know so if there's one advice you would like to give uh to anyone considering to enter the it industry especially they they've have had a long gap or they have no it background at all uh if they are deciding you know or thinking about joining um or coming to a career in the it industry what would you advise them okay first let them have a uh, connected connection with you let them talk to you and tell them their background. And when when they know what to look out for, that interview part really made me decide, like, are you able to cope with a little bit of coding and technical skills? Or are you able to uh, go ahead with the analyst session? The, the, the three arenas that helped us help me to choose after the interview, it was mm -hmm. much better than before. So once they first, first they need to make a connection, then they need to discuss more. Then they have to attend the interview. Then uh, they will definitely be in the right place to join the lesson and go about with it. Awesome. I think um, that's that's very good advice, Simoni. So guys, what uh, Simoni is talking about is that once you are, if you're interested in your, you're thinking of coming or joining the program or even just inquiring about an IT career, uh, you can connect with me. And during the process of choosing the program, we usually invite participants to this session called the advice and interview session, where you get to meet an IT expert 
share about your background and uh, get some advice. All this is completely free before the program. It's for you to make a more well-informed decision before you even join us. So that is what Sivamani attended as well because all participants go through that. We make sure you guys meet the IT expert, get the advice and then decide so that you don't decide in impulse and then after the regret and like, no, I didn't want this. I don't want to do this, you know? So that's what she's talking about. So thank you for that advice, Sivamani. Thank you for your time. Um, I really wish you stay in touch with us. We wish you all the best in your data analyst um, journey because learning never stops here. IT is one industry where you always continuously learn. So you're always welcome to be part of the Slack community. You're going to be part of our elite group. Uh, you successfully completed the DIPP program and got placed. So we are super excited for you. Uh, thank you so much once again. And we would like to wish you all the best. And I'll keep in touch with you for sure. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Reshma. Have a nice time. Bye-bye. You too. Bye, Sivamani. Bye-bye.